Welcome to the weekday report for Monday, November 11th. I'm Liz Snyder. Here's a brief look at the news. A flurry of local Veterans Day observations began Sunday in Pleasant Prairie, where more than 200 people came out for a ceremony at Prairie Springs Park. Other programs are set for today at schools, parks, cemeteries, and elsewhere. We'll be out at several of them. Look for coverage online tonight and in Tuesday's Kenosha News. The Kenosha Unified School District and its teachers union have exchanged initial contract proposals and the school board took another vote Saturday to enter into negotiations with the union. The unusual weekend board meeting was held in response to a complaint that an earlier vote was not noticed properly. Saturday's vote to negotiate was unanimous, though the three members who dissented earlier, Tamara Coleman, Bob Nuzzo, and Mary Snyder, were not present. A violin virtuoso worked with Kenosha Unified Musicians at Ruther High School on Saturday. Jesus Florido, known internationally as the Latin Fiddler, led a combined middle and high school orchestra concert. Florido, who began studying the violin at age 7 and was accepted into the Venezuela National Symphony at age 19, also conducted music clinics for the Kenosha students. A fixture at Kenosha's farmer's markets is hanging up his plow after 53 years. Bristol farmer Delbert Benedict has decided to retire after a series of health setbacks. The 82-year-old has been part of Kenosha's markets off and on since he was seven years old. He has been showing up regularly selling produce out of the back of his truck since 1960. Benedict said he will keep busy taking care of his large lawn and his partially disabled wife. And if he gets bored, he joked, he'll buy some green beans and come down to the market and sell them. This morning marked the dawn of a new era for boys basketball at Tremper High School. Jeff Sampanti was there and filed this report. It was an early wake-up call for the Tremper boys basketball team as first-year coach Ben Chamness conducted his first practice well before sunrise Monday morning at the Tremper Gymnasium. Chamness took over the program this offseason and welcomed over 60 players for tryouts. The Trojans arrived shortly before 5 a.m. and took part in drill work and individual sets and wrapped things up with three-on-three games. The 29-year-old Chamness starred at Tremper as the 2002 Southeast Conference Player of the Year, played at Carthage under Bosco Jurakovic, and was most recently an assistant coach under Parkside's Luke Regal. The Trojans opened the season November 22nd at Hartford. I'm Jeffrey Zampanti. What's trending today? In honor of Veterans Day, is there someone you'd like to thank for their service? Tell us on our Facebook page. The Central Girls Volleyball team came up short Saturday in its bid to bring home its first state title since 2006. The Falcons were swept by top-ranked Menominee Falls 25-17, 25-18, and 25-16. That came after Central advanced to the championship round at the WIAA state meet in Green Bay with a come-from-behind four-set victory over Nina in Friday's semifinal. Up next is Dave Marin with this week's Athletic Republic Athlete of the Week, a member of the Central Boys Volleyball Squad. On to state. I'm Kenosha News Sports Editor David Marin with the Athletic Republic Kenosha News Athlete of the Week. Brooks Gayhart, number 12, led the Central Boys Volleyball team to a sectional title last week. The senior helped the Falcons down Racine Case in a sectional semifinal and Burlington in the championship match. In the clincher against Burlington, Gayhart had 45 assists as Central earned a date at State with Marquette on Saturday. This performance came after he logged 5 aces, 25 assists, and 10 digs in the semifinal match. This will be Gayhart's third trip with the Falcons to State. Congratulations, Brooks. The Athletic Republic, Kenosha News, Athlete of the Week. Thanks, Dave. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. Melinda Tickelar has a feature on a Kenosha area couple who is trying to tie the knot on 11, 12, 13. And in the wake of the closure of all the Blockbuster video stores, another smaller chain is continuing to thrive. James Lawson will have that story. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check KenoshaNews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Liz Snyder with the Weekday Report.